so I thought I would do a day in the life vlog today because I feel like it's been so long since I've vlogged even though I literally like vlogged my birthday week like the week before last that feels like it was like four years ago so yeah I feel like I haven't vlogged in forever so this morning I just did a bunch of strength stuff that I have to do for this like uni project it's kind of annoying because on top of all the training I'm already doing I'm starting to feel quite fatigued and burnt out I also want to talk to you guys about that a little bit later and then I just went for a little walk because it's really beautiful outside. I like to try and go for walks a few times throughout the day to kind of break up all the sitting down because now that uni's back and it's all online again, <laughs> I spend so much time sitting down doing online uni and now I'm going to make myself brekkie and I've been going through a smoothie and smoothie bowl phase even though it is winter here in Australia but if you saw when I was outside it's so sunny and nice and such like spring vibes lately and I love spring, it's my favourite season. So this is my cacao smoothie. This one I kind of made like a choc PB um, take on it and I use lots of ice for the texture. I put in a banana, which I ate half of when I was doing this. I put in half a scoop of vanilla protein and half a scoop of this choc protein. I put in a teaspoon of cacao powder, a teaspoon of powdered peanut butter, half a teaspoon of xanthan gum. That was my attempt to make it thick, didn't really work. And then a whole bunch of unsweetened almond milk and I fill it up to max and then blend her. I think she's good. So I like to top it with strawberries and this powdered peanut powder. I don't know why normal nut butter in a smoothie just kind of tastes strange to me. The powdered peanut butter kind of melts with the smoothie as you eat it. It doesn't really make sense, but try it and I swear it tastes really good. It is a bit thicker than a normal smoothie, I guess. Honestly, I did kind of not that well today. But yeah, I like to like eat it with a spoon and like pick like fine strawberries in it. What I usually do now is just drink my smoothie and like smash out work for hours and then I have online lectures and online classes. So I'm going to be getting stuck into lots of studying now and I will check in with you guys later. just smashed out a few hours of study I look dead I did half study and then half like working on this assignment and now I have like four hours of zoom classes that's about to start so hopefully at one point in between the classes I can like go make myself something to eat and then I'll just like eat my lunch while like zooming I always wish I could fast forward time to like when it's over and like I, every time I'm like stressed about something I'm just like oh, I wish I could fast forward a few weeks to like the exams are over or like whatever but then it's just like then you miss out on the good stuff too and like all the memories and all the times in between so I don't know I'm saying this right now but I, I'm always like to myself no you gotta just take all the good and all the bad you know no I no I don't know what I'm saying um I need sleep Lol. these different types of technique and <laughs> I literally just had to leave that Zoom lecture early because I have my tutorial starting literally right now. So, so I just came to the kitchen to whip up some lunch to eat while I'm in my tutorial. I literally just chucked together some tuna and a whole heap of veggie. I drowned that in lime and added some chili flakes. And then I also just have some wholemeal rye toast with avo, lemon and chili flakes. I'm gonna have to like try to slyly eat because I don't want to just be like in my tutorial eating because you have to turn your camera on in the tutorial. Ugh. Let me know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Go for it. Um, I sent you an email the other week 
just asking about if it's okay um, if I've kind of tweaked my training program a little bit. Okay, cool. So we got a few people who like cat. Wow, geez, someone said no. Three people said no, they don't like cat videos. That was um, me. <laughs> <laughs> I was just watching one before. It was hilarious. A cat sneezing repeatedly. Um, it's, yeah. We'll come back and we'll report to class, okay? Now. I just finished a long day of studying and uni work and now I'm heading off to training and on the way I'm stopping at the film store so I bought some disposable cameras um, to take photos at my party that I had the other week for my 21st and I've never used a disposable before and it was really hard to find a place to get them developed but I found a place right near my training so I dropped them off last week and I'm gonna pick them up before training today and I'm like really excited to see how they turned out but also a little bit nervous because I feel like yeah, I feel like they turned out terribly and no one knew how to use a disposable, so that'll be interesting. So yeah, let's um go find that out. So grab this apple, so let's do a crunch test because it looks freaking beautiful and my mum would be so proud because I washed it. I never wash my apples ever, but you know what? Corona, let's be safe and that probably did nothing at all running some water over it, but you're welcome, mum. I low-key took a love heart bite. What, what does that even mean? Anyway, no one cares about my Apple review, so let's go pick up my disposables. Let's have a look. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, why do these look so iconic? Stop. There are so many wasted films that Wow, why is this picture iconic? Film is so cool though, wow. Well, Lani doesn't want me to show you. Wow, the quality of these, some of these is absolutely forked. Stop, I love that it looks like it's like 2000. Why is that like fully iconic? Like that looks like it wasn't taken in, in last week in 2020. I love that. Damn, some pictures are like just such bad quality it's ridiculous and then some are really good oh my god the, the flash the flash just so wasn't on for half of these wow you know when someone takes a camera and just takes a thousand selfies and each film costs like a lot of <laughs> i don't think i should show this picture on camera let's not let's not stop some of these are so iconic that was wild. That was wild. Okay, time to look at the um next lot of photos. Whew. Like literally no flash was used and this is what half of them look like. It makes it cooler when you get like a good one because it's like so Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh the quality, there's literally no flash on this. That's so sad because that would have been such a good photo. Damn it. That sucks. Oh, these are so iconic, half of these. Besides that, there's no flash. Oh, that's so sad. That's the only picture of me and Ella for my 21st. That's so no. Well, well, that was wild. That was just wild. And that was cool. That was very cool. So before I go to training, I wanted to have a little heart to heart with you guys. So one of the reasons I haven't felt like vlogging for a bit is just because I've been feeling kind of low and like right now I'm pretty tired and I think it's also because, <sighs> look, I'm going to be completely honest here because I'm just fully honest. You guys know that I'm like very, a bit too honest sometimes and I let myself be vulnerable in my videos, but I feel like when you're sharing your life with people, you can't just share the good bits. You have to share all of it because I don't know, that's where a lot of problems with social media comes from. A lot of people just, my nose looks broken. No, it doesn't, it's just a weird light. A lot of mental health problems from social media, I think are from people comparing themselves to the best bits of other people's life because people just share the best bits of their life and then people compare themselves and feel shit about it because 
they don't see all the bits of their life. Also, just because a lot of you guys have been following me through my journey of like trying to get a period back and getting healthy again. So just keeping you guys updated. So don't get me wrong, I am so much healthier like mentally and physically than I was when I started. Dealing with mental health is not linear, obviously. There's ups and downs and I don't know if it's gonna be something I always have to work on. But it's something that it's not just like I can't ever take for granted. Like, you know when you're younger and you're a kid and like obviously some days everyone feels down. But like when you're a kid, you kind of just never feel down. Like you either feel happy or just like neutral. And it's like you're always just like happy. Before I had any struggles with like mental health, I didn't have like days where I just wake up feeling really low or empty. Wow, this is too deep. I don't know if I want to like, I, I don't want my content to be like upsetting. Sometimes I just go through phases where it is a struggle and I have to put in a lot of effort for my mental health. And for me, obviously I've talked a lot about dealing with an eating disorder. It might be something I always have to kind of be really aware of and work on. So even though I'm so much better with like fueling my body and listening to my body and eating, and eating, just like not being afraid of food, the last few weeks I've just been, I don't know, I haven't been obsessive over food at all, but I just, I've been getting... I just know I've gotten so much leaner and I've been feeling flatter. I had this like talk to myself the other day, like I literally like just, I said to myself, look, do you want to get good at running again? Do you want to feel good again? Do you want to be healthy? Because every time I like get a bit healthier and feel energetic and feel good and I start to like improve at training, I start to get leaner again because I'm like putting so much into training. I'll start to get lean again and like drop weight. And if I'm really good with my mental health and I'm like no just keep fueling don't fall into that place like it's a lot of effort but that's what I want to do but if I don't put in that extra effort just because of the mental health struggles I've had and like I don't know what made me start feeling that way about myself where I just I don't know I just put so much value on how I looked and I just it wasn't even value it was more just that I before I ever struggled with an eating disorder and like being really underweight I was in a much better place with my body like I I just loved my body for what it could do for me and how I could run fast but I don't know why if I don't put in that extra extra effort I just uh, will get really obsessed with how lean I am in the mirror and I'll just I guess be not hopeful with getting healthy and running fast again because it just feels so hard to get to I don't know, I, don't, I feel so bad to say this and I don't agree with it at all. This is just like the bad side that's in my head that I have to deal with that I'm trying to like explain. That's not me. I had this talk to myself where I was like, look, you can be super shredded and lean if you want, but you don't get anything out of that. You're not happy, you're tired and you know, you're not happy like that. Like you might be comfortable with yourself like that and you might feel okay with your body when you look like that but you're tired and you're not happy and you're not running well and you don't feel good at training and that's the best, that's like my favorite thing in the world, like feeling fast and feeling, like training hard and feeling good for it, not just like training hard and feeling flat and lethargic and like pushing my, overtraining myself. And I just told myself like what, whatever, like that's it, like you get one life and no one's gonna come and do this for you, you can, do the right thing by your body or you don't have to it's up to you <sighs> I don't know something I have struggled with lately is <sighs> being uncomfortable in myself when I'm not lean again and I just I just I can feel myself when I start like feeling that way again and I'm trying to just remind myself that it's not worth it like I didn't go through so much progress to like start again and I don't have that much time like nobody has that much time life is short there's no point spending it at war with yourself basically and i don't want to hurt my body i want to do the right thing by my body anyway um i feel like i'm saying all the wrong things and basically overall what i'm saying is i have been so much better the last few weeks and months i have mental health has improved so much but I'm not gonna lie, I still do struggle sometimes and it is something that I always have to work on. So yeah, I just thought I'd tell you guys that and that I'm working on it right now. I just need to remind myself and work so much harder on feeling myself properly. And for me, that means just eating so much more than what my mind tells me is 
a good amount for me because it ain't. My mind can be a little dickhead sometimes, but my heart will overcome that. So anyway, I need to stop rambling because I always ramble. I'm going to shut up and head to training and yeah. I'm about to hop in the shower so I thought I should just end this vlog here because I didn't really end it properly but sorry for ending on a bit of a down note I just feel like I want to be open and honest with you guys so yeah training was fun I had a good time and it was freaking cold so I really want to get warm in the shower but as always thank you guys so much for watching if you did like this video please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel because that really means a lot and I hope to see you in the next video